Hey you all, welcome back to our Life Aroma channel and today we're going to show you how to make that delicious homemade for our month's baby German Shepherd. It's all with all good stuff like leafy vegetables and all. Here, let's go into the ingredients. This is a chicken bone broth, chopped uh, fresh spinach, which is called uh, Palakora in Amaranthus, which is called as uh, Torta String beans, potatoes, boiled chicken liver. So, here, this is how it looks after we boil the string beans and the potato, like that. Just add water. You don't, you're not supposed to add any salt to it, just with the plain water, that's it. Um, so after we boil, we prefer to cut these string beans and the potato after we boil. So this is how it looks. Uh, that's the spinach, that's what I showed you earlier. They are raw. So now take a whistle and add the broth into it, the chicken bone broth. We're going to show you this, uh, how to make a chicken bone broth in our next video. And adding the potatoes to it, which are a little bit largely diced. If you want, and, you can add more potatoes. Yep. Yeah, and spinach goes into it. And then goes our string beans. And now goes um, amaranthus. You can add like you know it depends on the like on your on your doggy like what kind of greens it loves to eat. You can add as much greens as you can. Like I said, uh, whatever your doggy eats, like greens specifically. And I know the question may, may be array, uh, like, you know, arose in your head, thinking that how uh, a doggy will eat green leaves like this. So the whole purpose of me adding this in the broth is um, for them to, like, you know, feel the taste of the chicken and all. So that is why we adding a whole, like, all kind of greens in the chicken bone broth, and they love to eat it. Trust me. So after like good five to ten minutes, I'm oh sorry, five to seven minutes on the high flame, this is how the broth and the veggies are like. They became a little thicker. So the whole re so this is the first time ever he is eating meat. The first time ever he's tasting. That is why we wanted to start just with the chicken liver. Uh, and this is highly recommended by our vet. He is the one who suggested and whatever we are, this is good we don't need to get it dried up so now we're going to turn off the stove and leave it under the fan or whichever way is convenient for you make sure that you will serve this for your doggies when it's completely cooled down do not serve it when it's hot or do not serve it when it's like you know long warm or anything don't do such stupid silly things all right just serve it when it's completely cooled down so let's wait until it cools down and we'll show you if our our boy gonna like it or not We're feeding him since he came into our okay you see how nice and thick like broth it is with the nice you know all the veggies uh, all the greens are nicely soft and now it's completely cooled down it's the right time for us to serve time to serve did you see how nicely it is potatoes two types of uh, leafy vegetables and one green and you see that those are like chicken liver with chicken bone broth that's gonna be a delicious lunch for our boy so here is the delicious leafy homemade food for our pets our doggy your dog will love it and it's gonna clean up the plate 
And yes, if you like this video, please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you so much for all your